Hi, I'm Crescent Fry, one of your senior stage managers. What I'm standing in right now is called the Wing. Before I go more into detail, I'd like to show you a tour of the wings and backstage and what this fancy little gadget on my head is. It's called a headset. First, I'd like to show you the wings and what they're used for. The wings are for the actors and actresses to stand on before they go on stage. It's also for stage managers' main spot to sit. Stage managers usually sit in the corner, out of sight, but they can also see the cast and crew backstage. You want to make sure you keep the people on your wings quiet or they'll ruin the magic of the show. If a set or prop is in the way of the entrance, please tell your cast and crew members so you can avoid as much injury as possible. We want our cast and crew to be happy and come back. Let's go on to backstage. These stairs are a perfect example of what I was talking about. When the lights are all out back here and people are walking, this is a definite hazard. You want to make sure the people know to walk all the way to the left so they don't twist their ankle or cut themselves. This is very crucial to the actors and actresses' health. Let's go back to the This is our backstage. This is where the actors and actresses sit right before they go onto the wings and then from that they go on stage. We do need a stage manager backstage to keep them quiet, and we also need to tell them when to go on and off stage. It is crucial that they don't talk back here, because like I said earlier, they will ruin the magic of the show because the audience will hear their voices. Let's go on to the other way. This would be where the other wing of the stage is, but as you can see right now, we do have a few set pieces here, because we are in construction of Alice in Wonderland. But, when these are not here, it's just as open as the other wing over there. The other stage managers do stand over here, and with these little funky gadgets on our head, we are able to communicate with them. Speaking of these funky little gadgets, let's talk about them. This is a headset. A headset allows you to communicate with your other stage managers just by going like this. Hey, Tyler, do you need help? It's that simple. We'll go more in depth of how it works a little bit later. But as of right now, I want to go over a few safety rules of the headsets. First of all, there is no taking off your headset and leaving it on the ground. That is a big hazard. Headsets are expensive, and if someone else breaks it, it's coming out of your paycheck, not the school's. Another rule of the headset is you never want these things to be airborne. Do never, never, never throw these. These are very expensive, and if they get broken, the school loses a form of communication, and you are going to have to pay for it, like I said. Another rule is never give these to a cast or crew member without the director's permission. You always want to make sure that these are in careful hands because if they break it or start saying funny words into it and the director catches it and thinks it's you, you're in trouble or you have to pay. Since I shared a few of those rules, let's go in deeper on how the headset works. Hi, I'm Tyler Dixon and I'm a fellow stage manager with Carson Fry. So, today we'll be talking about headsets. As you can see here, what I'm holding, this is the battery pack and what controls everything in the headset. Here you'll see the battery take it out and put it in, you just click this, and you pull this back and put it in. So there's that. All of these have pockets that include and go with them, so you make sure that the buttons align with the holes. So through the holes you'll see three buttons. You'll see the power button, the down button, and the, the up button. Those are volumes. You hold down the, the uh, power until the, both the red lights turn green. Ah. To talk, you click the IC button, and to turn down the volume or up the volume, you click these two. So, this is a cord. This is a slot. You connect the cord that is attached to the headset into this, and you make sure that this little tab is connected to that so you don't break it and make sure you don't force it inside because that will break it. So once you have all that, you've got your headset and make sure while you speak this is down and you don't yell through it. This is the microphone and yeah.